Okay, the recording's back. Oh, shoot, okay. Yeah, but... Um, well, like I was saying, I had one of those teachers that, for some reason, had just felt you needed to taunt the students that failed the SOL. Because if you failed the SOLs, you know, you had to sit and watch the other students, you know, get the rewards and stuff. Follow and, and obey. obey. <laughs> uh, but I was one of those students, you know, that kept getting, you know, never passed an SOL, so, or, you know, wasn't really passing them, and, uh, one of the things that they did is she went, see all these students that passed their SOLs to us and all the other ones that didn't, yeah, were in the same class, you know, didn't pass well as well? This is what you missed. This is what you get for not studying hard enough. It's like, why would you say this to a kid? In the issue, at my public school, if a teacher did that, the student is, is fighting the teacher if they were at any time in it's wrong. I mean, she got away with it. Like, I mean, I literally had, like, I think that same teacher for, like, one of my classes the same, like, one of the year, like, for two years in a row. And even though I was in the next grade, because apparently that was, like, a multi-grade class. Um. She, uh, I, I literally failed, knew I failed my SOLs again, and actually got my thing, and I did fail. I literally begged my mom to stay home that day that they had the ice cream stuff. Because I could not take it again. One student sent a teacher to the hospital because she failed him for the rest of the year. One student sent a teacher to the hospital. Oh, hey, wait, it was a guy teacher that did it? Oh, shoot. That is, uh... I'm, a, I'm afraid to think of what kind of situations, because I'm a person that listens to like a lot of those dramas. That's like, oh, you know, there's always yeah, some of those teachers want something from one of their students and stuff. I'm wondering if that was one of those situations. Because if so, um, oh my gosh. Which, I, I mean, if you're going to be a teacher, you got to, you know, be patient with your students and stuff. You know, try your best to help them out. But when you have those, like, like you said, um, a student sent one of the teachers to the hospital for failing her for the rest of the year. When you have it. I okay, stream really needs to stop reconnecting, disconnecting, reconnecting. Okay, I'll wait here a few seconds. Okay, well, uh, it should be back in a few. That's why we're gonna just kind of stay in this room. Okay, is the stream back? Okay. Um. If you're going to be a teacher, you really need just to be patient with some of the students. You know, try to, like, like, as I treat it, uh, uh <laughs> I'm treating this a bit like anime like, I like your enthusiasm, or like one of those, uh, school animes that I've seen, where the teacher is actually considerate to the students, and is, like, you know, trying to figure out what's wrong, how to teach them better, like, uh, I, I, don't, I can't believe I'm using this as an example. Um, one of the moments in Boruto of all things, where the one student, oh, he's better at using ninjutsu than actually studies. And it's like, oh, why not use ninjutsu, ninjutsu while studying? And he got better at it. It's like, it's like, you know, don't be like the meaning teachers that's gonna hurt your students because you know, the students are supposed to, or the teachers are supposed to help the students and everything and it's just it's so no we might have to move away from the uh teacher talk because that's starting to get negative so um is there any games that you're interested in that's coming out captain okay let's deal with Mouthpiece, which I will say I love the side quest, the side quest for this place <laughs> later. Uh, I'm actually being, a few games actually, especially Light Survival. What's Blight Survival? Oh wait, um, do you use Epics? 
uh, Epic Games on PC. The reason I'm asking is, um, they're having Dying Light for free Thursday that come out. So it's like, oh, it's like, it's like an addition free with all DLCs. Uh, Blight Survival. Um, I know one of the games I'm looking forward to is, um, Remnant from the Ashes 2. Blight Survival. I actually have to look that up. I use Epic's Xbox One casting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I saw that Dying Light was coming out, and I was like, Dying Light's gonna be out for um for a free on Epic with DLC wise and stuff. And all the thing is, oh, I, I I remember I remember playing the, uh, Dying Light on console. It's like that would be something good to stream. And all the thing is. I'll make my character on the stream, and then one of my few times off stream, just sit there and level up all my agility stats. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't have the Xbox Game Pass. I wish, man. Uh, Black Survival is a medieval zombie survival type game. It's more of a play, more of a plague, I believe. But so far, it looks like kind of plays like a Dying Light and Dark Souls. Really. Oh, uh, while this is going on, uh, I have to, uh, Google open up. Hold on. Gods don't negotiate. Light. I love it. Love it. Like I said, Light. that map is super busted. Survival. So take it. I'll swing by later to pick it up. Images. You're my most loyal follower, Vault Thief. Oh, this looks that. sick. You just put a new game on my radar. <laughs> there's no release date, but there's a trailer the you can watch. Bring it back. I'll watch the trailer don't after the stream. You strike again, we'll Captain! Again. <laughs> um, I remember playing Remnant from the Ashes 1. I have it on PlayStation 4. That's one of the things that I, I would love to stream. It's probably going to be very demanding when it releases. Oh, shoot. <laughs> um, the, the only thing I'm, I'm... There's like two things I'm mainly waiting on. Well, three things actually now. Um, well, I, I guess actually four things. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 4. But you know, you said you didn't like the Kingdom Hearts first because you couldn't get you couldn't get into the Kingdom Hearts games. Which, personally, um, you may not be able to get into them. But I think if maybe if I stream it and you watch, you might like it. I'm just you know sometimes there's it might be a game you don't like playing, but you like watching others play it. Like there's like a few games that I like seeing gameplay, but I don't like actually playing the games. And um, it's gonna you're probably gonna hate me for saying this. I don't know if you've like uh liked the game or not. Um, I can't get into playing God of War games, including like the newer ones. I can't get into playing them because I like I got the uh, God of War 2018 uh, for free. I couldn't get into playing them, but I do like the story. You know, it's one of those things. Do you know this decapitated but, um, Kingdom Hearts 4, I'm waiting on. Remnant from the Ashes 2, I can't wait for that. I, I saw the trailer for that. I was like. Yes, um, Elden Ring's DLC, which I, 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 it's one of those things where I'm hoping to like save up any money I get for my birthday for that. Like I would be on the DLC. I have discovered a COV uh, we're statue. only doing the headscape you know anything about it? quests because, shoot, I have to go back. Um, but other than that, I think the other thing is the Bud Dragon Ball Budokai, ten image, the new Budokai yeah, Tenkaichi game. Which, seeing that that was getting a new game, all I could think was, yes, the game from my childhood that I've played the most on the Wii. The game that I got good at using the hand motions for, because you had to actually use the hand motions to use the Kamehameha and stuff, which was, I thought was cool. You might get that Dragon Ball game. Um, people were talking about there might be, see, uh, you know, custom characters, and all I could think is, don't. Don't put custom, leave the custom characters for the Xenoverse. Because the universe says, basically made custom characters their thing. Don't put, don't ruin Budokai by putting custom characters in. And my only defense of that is, um, but, uh, I have Xenoverse 2, uh, I'm playing for, I was actually playing recently. I love the Beast Gohan form, I finally got to use it. 
uh, the beast, specifically the beast transformation. All I can think is, oh yeah, I'm using Cell's eyes for my Freezer Race character. Let's see what, if it changes the eyes. And you know, um, I went, you know, beast, and I saw that the pupils changed the different pupils. All I can think is, oh, they should stay like they, just, they should just go through the color of Cell's. Uh, <laughs> beast is all over. It is. I really like like that combo, specifically the um, extra combo that's added. It does so much damage. But you say you play on Steam and um, Xbox, you don't. Uh, you don't. Uh, oh, wait, do you play PlayStation? I have never hunted in a head before. Um. There should be a VR console by the game. I got confused in the talk earlier. Um. Because I have Xenoverse 2 on PlayStation 2. I go in there myself, but. Um, totally I was gonna play it, play it tomorrow during the day, as no I say. I do, but not really anymore. Mm. You, I'm an man. you only I play, you only play Bloodborne. I'm guessing when you play Bloodborne, you're tech, back to that. Which I would say, it's the world of Bloodborne is mainly the reason I want a second game. Because, um. I think my personal my personal thought. This is a really personal thought, and I would love it. It would make the sequel to Bloodborne so much better. You're in the simulation, okay, bro. Elden Ring did it's open world, you and, and you know Elden Ring being an open world Dark Souls game, I kind of like. And all I can think is, what if Bloodborne, the piece. sequel to Bloodborne, oh, would be open world? Probably fragmented her recent memories. And I'll think it's an open world Bloodborne game with more up. stuff. Like you could visit visit other towns besides besides Yarnum and stuff. And I'll think it's I'd like lane? to see if you know you know if you know in Yarnum you could visit there obviously for like the sequel. But you could visit Sun other Smasher. places like there could be other towns being afflicted by the hunt. It's one of those things where it's like oh I would have you know. Because, you know, Bloodborne all takes place only, like, in one entire night. Oh, that's the thing that bothers me, is like, wait, hey, this is all one night? It's like, man, this creature must be so sleepless. And then you have... You know, you have, you have a lot of stuff, like, for instance, the only off-distance place you kind of go for, um, Bloodborne that you actually, like, take something to travel to was the, uh, Castle Kingdom. All I can think is, well, Yarn would pretty much fall, like and what if, you know, other people get their hands on the blood? And how I, I always connected Bloodborne back to Dark Souls 3, specifically with the Painter's DLC. Because, um, my personal theory is that the Painted World that you end up making in Dark Souls 3, that you don't get to see the end results of, could be Bloodborne. Mainly because blood was used to paint the painting. And if that was the case with the Dark Souls man it was made to paint a painted painted world, and you know what you use in Bloodborne to heal you is blood, it would kind of make a bit more sense for it to be a painted world. Like um, it could be like say Dark Souls three after Dark Souls three, depending which depending which ending they would go for lore wise. Um, the world ended. There's nothing left in the world at that point. And all that's left in that world that probably is still intact is the painting. And so, in my head Memory canon, uh, Get this, me. So I any power that was in the world that was left could have got transferred into the next uh, painting, the whole clan could eat barking into the painted world, and it made it, it instead of just, now, you know, it's I just a painted like world that, you know, you could exit the painting, you could no longer exit the painting. And it became its own like dimension, like uh, its own. Well, it is the painted world, but like, it became its own civilized. Like, there's also time trap. What kind of backs this up? The theory of my head can is the um, is the uh one uh guy from Dark Souls One. Uh, he wears a mask, and when you fight him, if you attack him, um. He uses a sword. He uses a sword and a crossbow. And, glorious hunt. and all you can think is he uses a sword and crossbow, but he he wears out a clothing similar to that of the hunters. That's why I always thought of him as like, oh, he could be from. He, he said he got dragged to to the past too, 
which means that Bloodborne is the future of Dark Souls. Lift my arms off again. And it could either be, oh, the world finally healed after like maybe a redo, or it could be the painful like world. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. <laughs> You are experiencing. I, I've been talking so much about this, I forgot what I'm calling. Existence and non existence simultaneously. Do not think about it. This is slapping weird. I'm freaking out. You gotta get me out of here. Oh. What's LOL? Did I miss something? Oh, was it the dialogue? I wasn't paying attention. I was alt tab just checking my time. Because, like I said, I wanted to do at least one more hour of this. I was going to try two more, but if my stream keeps going down, you know, it's best to, you know, sla oh, slapping. That's slapping <laughs> crazy. It's so cringe. It is. Like, um, Madagascar, uh, crack a lacking and all that. Like, that's kind of cringe a bit. Oh boy. And, yes, um, as I was um, kind of setting uh, president, um, I stream for, like, I don't, I, sugar honey iced tea. <laughs> yeah, that is one of the best. It's cringe, but it's also one of the best lines. Like, um, I didn't realize what sugar honey iced tea was, uh, was for, and then I, uh, Read in, I let, read the letter first thing. It's like, oh, that's a PG way of saying that. <laughs> oh man. And I mean, sure, everything. So, it's talking about shows right now. What I'm about to talk about. Everyone that I know really likes um, Stranger Things. Me personally. I like that some of the stuff in Stranger Things is based off of uh, D and D stuff. However, me myself, I don't like Stranger Things. What a slapping nightmare. But that's just me. Thanks for getting me uh, out. You here. don't like it either. Vic, okay. You're, you're alive. I mean. I mean, I really want to learn how to play D and D. He's talking to me. Because I mean, Dungeons and Dragons. Hey, I've like seen, heard of Look, some serious I'm stuff. I'm a slapping idiot. Like the actually, COV I grew up on a cartoon of D and D actually. Up. We tried joining them, and all they did was um, murder I have, and torture us. I have the uh, DVD order. case with all the discs for it. Right now, Vic. Um, I'm gonna need you to give me a hundred. There was uh, Tiamat always Come showed up in me. the show, we got a new clan now. but um, she was Go mainly showed up to chase Crimson away. Yeah, um, she chased away. Yeah, um, he was a guy dressed in red. Shows. He was some sort of demon. Oh, or hey. someone. He was he someone that was afraid of Tiamat. Here. I know but he wasn't afraid of the party we itself, even though they were in his way. You trying to remember it's who he yours. was. Well, this is awkward. Oh, come on. I mean, I always wanted more me time, right? This uh, is perfect. I get to hang with my... Yeah, I got a head for that, right? I should have. I didn't get a head for that, really. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we'll talk to Lilith and get the sanctuary. <sighs> It's one of those things where... Hmm. Oh, 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 well, okay, okay, I'm gonna talk about my favorite movies, because... I, I mean, I'm, I, I, I would like my audience to know more about, about myself, so they know what kind of person I am. And I say I might snap and do something, but honestly, I think that's honestly just words. Like, I think I could physically snap and maybe actually hurt someone. But I had to, like, really be hitting my breaking point. And at that at that point, the only way I would actually hurt them was probably with words, if anything. Like, I could never get physically violent. If that makes sense. Like, I don't like hurting people. It's, or, you know, the only way I might actually physically hurt someone if it's self-defense. But that's, like, only if it comes down to it. Like, I could never wield a gun or anything. It's it's really one of those things where, you know, I've had um, safety training from a family member who's a police officer. I never got physically violent outside of work. Mm. Well, I mean, and sometimes 
uh, uh, wait, outside of work? Does that mean there's someone in, 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 in at your work who really makes her ain't, uh, who, <laughs> it's one of those people? Oh, you're a security officer. Work. Okay, I can understand then that you get uh, physical then sometimes. Like, I'm guessing you've had to extort some people off the premises then. <laughs> and they didn't take too kindly for that. But those people are the most really bug me. It's like, oh, you clearly done this. It's like, why are you kicking me out? It's like, oh, because you did this and it's against store policy. <laughs> or, you know. It depends if you work at a store or not. Just kind of. <laughs> Same point of view, but I'm one of those people. Like uh, specifically, um, the people at Games uh, GameStop. If I go in and get a copy for like uh, a copy of the game, because I was good. Just got plays them gun draw and shoot out. You can. Uh, oh yeah, I can. I can imagine. There used to be so many of us on Pandora. Now it's like uh, it's one of. The how do I put this? The only good luck getting see, that map back. Well there, there is a you lot of things that can happen yes, Firehawk. A successful in some situations, and is fine. one of the things the that I always have a huge nice. issue with is... So, did you see any of my Sun Smashers? Um, <laughs> and why do you smell like dust like, uh, and skin? Your Specifically, uh, Tyrene I heard of some, so like, um, there's a YouTube channel, it it's a really good one. Uh, I highly unnatural. recommend if you like hearing some of these stories. Um, it. It's called Am I the Jerk? I never he has another cha channel called I... Am I the Genius. I haven't checked no. out I, I, Am I the Genius yet, but he tells cry. something. So he, he, they just like stuff on like view, Reddit and stuff. The people actually take telling the problems and feud. oh, I just heard blood you know, feud. The COV was <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> um, even worse than I thought. One of the issues that they had uh, was a got the map. um. It, it wasn't an issue with the security guard. It was the issue of with map. with um, um the as the story goes, a guy went in to go uh get well, get an, uh, get a, a toy for a friend a friend's kid because they had really wanted it. It's not and so you know they went to buy it. It was the last it. one, and apparently a crazy uh, lady's like Damn, uh it's not working. uh you know uh approached wrong. him and tried taking the item it. or then didn't try to take it but um. Said she would There's like that, and then when he wouldn't give it to her, she left in a hurry. Came back with the security officer. Trisha Tannis. And she's got a dig site on the other side of the valley. You know, they questioned the him and her. stuff, and he's like, "No, check the cameras." I'll catch and up when I can. One of the cards left to go check the cameras. Um, and then the police were called. He checked the cameras. He's like, "Lady, you need to leave." And Our then she wanted. She tried being physical. Um, not only did the cop show up, they also found out that the lady was high. She was on some stuff. I was like, "Well, shoot, <laughs> you're good. You're in big trouble." Look upon me, for and, I am uh, beauteous. He then said, "You know what? After that situation, he said he wanted to go come some stuff, so he went and bought the new God of War game. He bought one of the last two copies, and oh, I think he bought one of the last two copies. And at the same time, he bought a PlayStation Five hey, for it. You, you won't ever believe the people that I had to deal with for I mean, it. I <laughs> oh boy." Um, how it had the story kind of ended is another lady showed up, and you know, you know, kind of uh, bump, bumped into the guy because she wanted the console and stuff, and you know, he has the receipt and everything. Same, same situation and everything. Trying to do the hunter switch a bag, uh, switch bags maneuver, and you know, cop showed up again. It's a different lady. It's a different lady. She was right. also high, and it's like, and when it's, your turn, it's like, what is it? Know. He's like, as he says, never I'm never coming back to the store again. Except He's like, people on some substance mine. keep trying to steal my stuff <laughs> after I purchase it. It's like, jeez. And so well, when you, you say you won't believe the people you that you had to deal tennis. with before you got promoted, I, am. I can imagine you what kind of people you had to deal with. You had to try to deal with a lot of people. I suppose congratulations are in order. That was it. Well, let me take a look. Like, well, I, I may, like, say, if you tell me something, like, that's shocking, and I might sound like I don't believe you, you I probably most likely will believe you on some of this about. stuff, because, um, I can tell jokes, but as they, uh, as my family members have pointed out, I can't really take a joke. I need to use like, say if someone's telling, say if someone's, say, Please do, do um, not confuse it for 
conversation. Telling a joke, As but I they suspect, do it in a Tyree super Pinto serious tone. I think you're 100% do it being serious. And clearly her cult is her food source so when you say, ah, that's a joke, I'm the like, why would you joke about power, that? You know. Or, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those things where it's like, <laughs> I'm a bit angry, but at the same time it's like, it's because I think, it's, I take things, I mean, a lot of people think, maybe we don't even because we're not allowed. Oh, no, you bet, I'll play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, someone uh, that actually happened in one of the stories I listened to. Um, one of the guys at the thing was like drunk. He tried to pull his gun out on uh, the security guard. The security guy immediately like reacted first and tased him. It was like, because uh, the guy was drunk. He's like, you wouldn't tase. He's like. Don't you, don't you say you wouldn't. <laughs> That's like asking to be tased. Uh, all I can think is... Uh, one of the other things, um... I have a, no pain tolerance. Like, some people have pain tolerance and everything. Like, everyone has like a kind of pain tolerance. Mine is like non-existent. I hit bump my arm into something. I will actually sit, actually feel pain. Like, say, like... I'll probably feel pain, you know, but I'll actually say, ouch. <laughs> At, like, like, it's one of those things where it's like, someone's like, oh, they, you know, gently, you know, you know, playfully, light, light, like, barely, you know, punch and stuff, uh, me, it's a, you know, like, the whole entire, you know, joking arm thing, and, you know, they won't use, like, you know, super force, I actually feel hurt from it, <laughs> it's like, it's like, they're like, there's no way, it's like, I was like, and then I'd be explaining, my pain tolerance is, like, non-existent, <laughs> All right, killer. Take the rest it's part of the reason together. why I have so much respect for women. Of course, because of, you know, um, you know, the fact that I don't have a job just yet, uh, I, I mainly do all the chores around the house to kind of feel like I'm at least responsible for something. And my parents have, the, specifically, uh, my family told me, there's no, like, there's no need to, like, oh yeah, you can now get out of the house, or, you know, uh, sorry, not, not, uh, not 20, but, you know, you're an adult now, get at, find a job and get out of the house. As they say, take your time. You like, don't like say, oh, get a job, and if it doesn't work out, and you have no place to go, you know. Tell me you got the map working. Which is one of those things. Was I'm, I, I love my family. My vast intellect, but limited resources. I'm barely, I'm, you know, I'm barely, I'm like 19, and oh wait, I need to examine the. Uh, the I believe this should do uh, I'm just trying to take my. Part of the reason why I like the whole time I thought about streaming is, oh, I have high pain tolerance. It takes a lot to make me feel pain, but I, I'm also trying to if it's in swiftness and deploying a taser and drawing out my gun. Well, that's good. That's for the, from your from some of your job. That's what you need to be good at. So looks like you're pretty good at your job then. Um, one of the issues, like I was saying, um, is. Have to get to that I'm trying to get over a lot of stuff, like, on the entire being on the autism spectrum, having ADHD, having Asperger's, that, uh, it's no, something, you know, I'm stuck it. with, and I'm trying to Just figure trying to things out, but, I mean, when I hit, I get panicked, I get majorly panicked, Ready? I mean, I'm so panicked, I'm, ha I'm I start having a meltdown, I mean, I mean, I have him up. I mean, I'm so panicked. I can't think straight, and when I can't think straight, Usually I make rash decisions. Crap, off of the good wife, and a lot of the you, things when I was like picking out flinger. what kind of job I would want to go for, for I was always panicked because I don't know what I'm best at. Or, I, for the longest time, I thought, well, the only thing I knew is that I, I was really do. good at games. The of the vault. If that it's makes sense, like um, like uh, as my mom said, she had to stop doing. Uh, every time I got a Dragon Ball Z game, because Dragon Ball was like, I grew up watching Dragon Ball, so of course it's one of my favorite games. I had to go into training for my gun before I could carry, and I finished the block, but I was pricing myself going up against another man and the instructors. Uh, that's one of those things, I'm like, I was actually like, deeply afraid of, you know, if I ever came, uh, I'm decent at games, not Master of One, but I like, I like Jack of Trades. I like a Jack of All Trades too. I actually really like tower defense games. Like, I like testing my brain a bit. It's like, okay, let's test this. But, um, 
I always got say a Dragon Ball game the day of my birthday and then managed to beat the sucker like can you help Ellie get within the five six hours I'll start rounding up the Raiders because I I love the like it's of one of those things where I get a new game and I'm so excited for it I sit there and play it until like in, until I can't play it no more <laughs> it's like it's one of those things where you can't stop to take a break I've actually had issues in the past where um I think one of those one of the times I got a game I tend to be a game the same day <laughs> yeah um, the game, uh, I can't remember which game it was. I actually forgot one of the games I, one of the games I had gone one day. I'm so excited to play it. I literally forgot to eat and drink that entire day. And all I can think, like, I had no snacks. There was, you know, breaks to the bathroom, but then, you know, quickly back to the game. And it was one of those things where it's like, I just, I needed to play. <laughs> I forgot I'm pissing over stuff. But at the same time... I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really good at games. And sure, I may not play a whole co lot of competitive games, but the, as, as I say, there's, I, there's, there's personally no issue, I have no issues playing games that are competitive. However, when I play a competitive game, I'm not going to be like, oh, oh, uh, you know, I'm not going to start blaming my teammates or anything. I know if I'm not that good at the game, and, you know, if I'm not that good, good at it, so what? But it's one of those things where... There's a lot of negativity around competitive games, specifically when you get one of those teammates that's like they blame you for everything, like the getting down. It's like, oh, it's your fault that we died. It's like, dude, it's a game. Try to enjoy it. It's the point about games. You're supposed to enjoy the games. Like, um, one of the game series that I actually, like, like yeah, like Siege. Um, the Bioshock games, I think. That game, the first game, I could not play the first game for the longest time. I was scared of it. Like, I was like, like nothing, I wasn't scared of the, the, um, like, I think it was the only one I was 15. I was able to manage to finally play Bioshock, the first one. The second game in the, the Bioshock Infinite, I could play them all. I wasn't scared of those. Mainly because the second one I like playing is the Big Daddy. <laughs> but, um, the first game, I was mainly scared for the fact that when you first meet one of the Splicers, Specifically, the one that turns around the ship—it's like blinking light. And as a kid trying to play that for the first time, it's kind of traumatizing. And so it's one of those things where it's like you, you need to pick the right games to play on your first when you're younger, or they kind of leave—they uh, leave in a huge impression. For me, Bioshock was like just the scariest game possible. <laughs> Human it still is kind of bit. I'm still a bit traumatized from the first game. Specifically the part with Andrew Ryan where, would you kindly, like that whole entire reveal scared the crap out of me. It's like, it made me think, am I just being con controlled and stuff whenever I'm being asked nicely? It's like, Outlast was the scariest one. Ah, okay, I cannot touch Outlast. I will say this now, I tried playing it. I cannot even touch it. And here's the thing, I tried playing the second game first. The second way, the game's way worse! And I'm like, I'm 15 when playing the time to play the second one. I was like, yeah, I still can't either. Like, I don't know how some people can go through those games. It's like, um, like, I can't watch scary movies. Like, um, my way of watching scary movies is I watch a channel called Blood Meat, and when he does, like, kill counts on him, that's my way of watching the movie. Because he doesn't, you know, explain the plot at the same time that he's counting the kills. Uh. The first game I did, I did manage to get it first in until I got to the first guy that scared the crap out of me. And then I was like, oh, delete, uninstall, I'm done. <laughs> but it's one of those things where it takes a lot of certain things to scare. Ellie, I don't mind scary movies anymore, but the games is like a different. In the games, it is because you have physical input. I can't wait to with the movies, you don't have input. With the games, you have input. <laughs> Like, um, I have a huge fear, specifically, um, it's one of the few games I will never play. Any games with creepy dolls, creepy dolls, I say no to. That's why I, uh, in Resident Evil 8, I had a bit of a reaction when I got to a certain level. Or to a certain area in Resident Evil 8. I cannot do, like, stuff like mannequins and creepy dolls. It's, I don't know what about it, it's just, like, something human-like that just has a blank stare like um my mom has some porcelain dolls that are you know pretty old and stuff i 
I see them, all I can think is, don't look back at them. They'll stare into your stall. Don't look back at them. <laughs> That's what I keep repeating to myself. It's like, um... I think one of the few movies that I watched that was kind of scary, but at the same time, I thought it was a bit goofy, the premise. But at the same time, it's still terrifying. Um, it's a movie called Black Sheep. Um, it, I do believe it is R-rated. Um, it has to do with killer sheep. I just realized I'm not supposed to drop that off there. <laughs> um, there's also a wear sheep in it. Which had the wear sheep came to be, oh boy. One sec, I'll get That's a uh, absurd. It's uh, it's really questionable. It'll be good to see Depending on where you're at, it's a movie you may not want to watch. Gonna teach them city boys some things they only see in nature documentaries. Well, I'm gonna go prep myself. Um, like um, if I remember correctly. One of the uh, scary moments about Black Sheep was... I'm leaning back in my chair, so if I sound quieter. Um, Firehawk, just give me the map. It wasn't just the no fact that it was sheep, way. you know, eating people. Cool. It, it, and they, they were really this. experimented on, and that's what caused it. It was the fact, um, you had stuff like every got sheep it. was affected. Um, like one guy got his, uh, oh, a sheep, sheep bit his, um, parts off. All I can think is, after watching that, I had to pause and, like, walk away. It's like, what the F just happened? This went from wholesome to scary in, like, no time flat. <laughs> this is gold. But I still, you know, continue to watch it. And this is when I'm older, by the way, not when I'm, like, younger. If I was younger, I would have been traumatized by sheeps. Uh. One well, of the scary thing is, um. I have all the, all, all the, there's a bunch of male sheep, and then there's a female sheep. Well, um, like I said, there was a were sheep, which is a human turning into a, like a werewolf sheep. You're it was kind of, uh, um, well, friends in the family. The only way to get infected uh, by the, by, how, I, I'm the siren. He's just a if parasite. I remember, per, oh, Literally, real quick we about born, the game. Our father had to cut him seeing off me. Troy now, here, seeing how he has red lot. tattoos. And later on, when you see his what wings, they're like doing? they're like demon wings, which I thought was cool. I can leech and how all the other angels, which are female, thing. have angel wings. You, it makes me personally think the next Borderlands Legendary game, we should get to play as a guy siren. It, should, it just should be a thought. Because so I think titles. after like because so of Titan Team Wonderland, the next Borderlands game might be a custom characters game. Well, I've taken your powers. And that's the case, I would might love well to make a custom siren. Sorry. Tyrene. But I, I, I am also fine with like each, you know, main game having a said character you get to play. Um, but back to the were sheep. How he became a were sheep was kind of disgusting and highly illegal. Um, like I said, there's a female sheep, and then the, the were sheep is a guy. Um, Ty, Ty, come on. Let's just say unspeakable three, things with the sheep, two. which is highly disgusting. That's all I'm gonna say. What is up, brothers and sisters? God Queen Tyrene coming to you live. We got something real special for you today. Your number one most requested murder. It's the great heretic herself. Like the um Firehawk. I don't know what else to talk about. I'm just kinda in the days. Well, look who got what. Mm. Smile. Thirty more minutes and I'm in the stream. <laughs> I well, actually, it depends if you know if you have any right. more issues. Where my your followers at? <laughs> Loving it, but that's not all. Our path to the great vault has been revealed. Next stop, Promethea. Uh, wait, wait. wait. Like um, hold on. Luke open. is standing up back there. Hold on. Did anyone see that? Don't feel bad. She wasn't Luke. down on the ground. She was just standing all up. Legends have to die. He <laughs> had a good run. I guess. That's just something people say. I don't really believe it. All right. Let's get out of here. I want to see if Katagawa is good on his work. Katagawa! Give the scraps to the dogs. Bye bye now. Thanks for the map. And your powers. I'll make sure to finish what you started. Later, Firehawk. Later, Or whatever Kyrie. you are now. I'll see you later. <laughs> But, um, I remember the thing they're saying that each siren has different powers, and 
There was one siren. I don't think we ever got to find out whose powers it belonged to. So we have Lilith, Maya, um, Angel. We know those three. Yes. Now we know Tyree's power. However, I think it's said to be five or six sirens. So they still have yet to pop sirens to pull out their abilities. However, there was a past siren in the first game. Colonel, uh, uh, I, I think it was Commandant Steel was her name. We, ne I don't think we ever got to see her powers, but I think someone was saying, um, the siren, the new siren we got in this one has her powers. Which is, I'm, I'm, it's, it's weird. I, I actually have to go look it up. I just know she reappears as a boss, um, because Claptrap got her back to life. Which is one of the few times I really hated Claptrap after that. Uh. Yeah, but I just want to go ahead and set it. Captain, I thank you for watching the stream and then, you know, talking with me this long. Because, you know, what's best about streaming is you're not just playing a game, you're playing it with an audience, and you you play with you're playing with people you, you that makes you feel you can talk to them. That's part of the reason why I've talked to you this probably this long is actually as I feel like I can talk to you. And you not feel weird. Legendary. Let me pick up the other legendary. Let's drop this. I say drop. Oh. Uh, oh. Ooh, this one does damage. Dabbing. Oh, uh, it's just. You gain more legendaries than I have from <laughs> in, in, in game. Oh. Uh, dude, I tell you, I, have, I, I either have good luck with legendaries with the character, or I have terrible luck. It's one or the other. Cause I like I can make like um for instance I had a Zane the other day that I was playing with. Um I have like like I'm like I'm like near endgame. Not a single legendary from no matter how many times I refight the bosses. And all I can think is, is my game bugged or something? Like cause I got like, I got, like double legendary though, didn't I? I'll not let death take you. She is mine. Oh, I'm Commander, to this. we should go. Wood blocker. You don't get the wood blocks in this. You are ready to. <laughs> oh shoot! I'd like to set it off, Hyperion. Thanks. I like. I like say. I like the name of the legendary guns. Like um, there's the one blue gun that has writing. Um, this the I have nothing but legendaries on Tiny Tina Lola. I think I only have two legend. I think I I have a legendary spell and a le and legendary armor. Like I, I actually found armor I was gonna give to you because you said you were you were very close to max level. Um, it increases experience gained by like ten percent. I was like, I was like, oh, I might be willing to trade this to Captain see if he needs this to like boost his like le leveling up. But I can't remember if that was a pressure war if I just found it. You like the infinity guns? Oh, you mean the guns like um? I I actually got them like uh, on the PlayStation 4. I actually have it for like it's a legendary pistol. It's the ones that never run out of anim ammo, right? It's the ones you're talking about. Okay, we we need to start putting some in the orange category. I just alt tab by accident. Hey, boo boo. <laughs> okay, and we've taken all. Because I mean that's what I like about the infinite pistols. They might not might not do much that much damage, but because you can keep firing, you're constantly doing damage. Oh, get your rat! Oh man, we miss Scooter. Scooter was the best character, and I was so angry at Tales of the Borderlands for what they did to him. I was like, no, Scooter can't go out like this. Fire for infinity with unlimited ammo. Oh. Now I want one of those guns. Ah oh, man, uh, I'm just really happy that we've we've gotten further in my goal. Like, um, like I, handsome Jack, best care. I he was well, definitely the best villain. What the hell happened to you? Especially when you find out his backstory. He's not actually a bad guy. 
No longer a siren. It's one of the reasons why I actually like why people ones why some people say they hate well, the pre sequel. It's like queen, no pre sequel is one of the best games because you, you get the crazy? <laughs> she's I still wearing the umbrella. Uh, to clap um, point, can one of the reasons really why I like Kenton Jack is our current if you fate? follow his backstory. Tyreen's after the power. And I mean, really follow even the backstory no you get some of the backstory you get from one of the side quests in here in this game. I may not be a find out a lot of his character. We all are. And it's one of those things where, thick and where thin. You know which one's I, which I brought up a possibility thing. that could still happen, but I, I don't think saying. he got fully destroyed. Um, death it is. AI Jack from the Telltale series. A to study a new vault. If I remember, just it was right. just the eye and the Let's arm were left behind. We ride! Like, Onward to Promethea! You know, and everything. So I think it's still in the arm and eye there. Hey, Lil. That he left behind. Bad luck to take a ship out of orbit without a name. So it's like, I feel like She's Jack could still come back name. in some way, especially with the AI. Sanctuary. It's one of those things where it's like, Jack was not only the best villain because here. of, you know, what he's done, it's, the, it's what made him the villain. Like, uh... Okay, Maurice. Uh, let's talk to you. Isn't wrong. Um, one of the things that, um... She's got an army. I really like about the hand, hand Jack's Jack's character is, uh, you know, you there was some stuff, uh, it's, it's cool you can play him too. Oh, yeah, I like the fact that you can play, um, it's Timothy Lawrence. You know, you can play one of his doppelgangers who shows up in one of the DLCs, which, funny, I will always wanted to know what happened to him. It's like, oh, he's still alive, and he's possibly dating Moxie now. He got what Jack couldn't get. I just want to throw that in there, that last part. Oh yeah, I forgot the stupid new key room. Which, which was not needed. Anyhow. Yeah, I will find... Oh wait, we got to do this. Alright. Uh, Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, I like that what, uh, Tim what, what Timothy's whole entire um, character drive. class was. That means you gotta and, uh, be real careful um, with it. the pre um, I like this being the laser guns, quick. first off. The like, side laser guns. Those are always cool. But other than that, I like the fact that his his class is based around getting your hands on money. Like if you want uh, to make money so fast in um, Borderlands, you would want to play him because there's like what one one of his hell? perks increases the amount of money you get from boxes and enemies drop, and it's like something like so broken. And. When you, like I said, when you really look back at the backstory, he lost his wife to bandits. Um, he hated his daughter a bit, but at the same time, he loved his daughter. He wanted nothing to do with the protector, and um, that's why he made the, like, uh, he was thinking about her a little bit. Like, he's sure he combined her to an area where she couldn't really have any take? freedom, but in exchange, she got basically everything Hyperion controlled she could access, like, all the cameras, she could see everything. Probably as a little kid, she probably was actually happy maybe about that, but she could see other planets and stuff. But sure, he wasn't the greatest dad, but at the same time, you find out in this game, one of the side quests, that the turret that killed the... Uh, bandit, uh, like, uh, let's go do the pandas and the rest of us. Um, you find out that the turret that killed the bandit that was Hyperion, Angel was controlling, there? however, um, Hello? Jack's wife was also in the way. Tannis, where are and all you? Can, all I can think is, man, that is really dark and sad. So it explains why he doesn't, why he hated Angel a bit, but at the same time, he, it was his daughter, and he still loved her. Sure, what he did was wrong, using her to charge the the vault key and everything, and you know, using all that iridium. But he still, he was still a bit there before, like the Hunter Warrior Madness thing. Like, I, I think what really changed him to be go full villain was the pre sequel. And I'm talking the betrayal from Lilith and Roland and I think that's what sent him over the edge. Because, uh, 
He got Brandon first off in his face. He, um... You know, Moxie betrayed him by destroying the, the Hyperion laser. Dash, dash. Hey, Vault Hunter! Have we got an opportunity for you? you and then you had, uh... My wares! My beautiful implements of destruction! Vault Hunter, quick do something! I don't remember what was the other thing, um... Thanks! But my firing range is still on fire! Which I think my best part is uh, seeing the uh, other side of Moxie. <laughs> And the pre sequel is that you get to see the, 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 the you know, the hold up. I can remember the clamp ball lines too that well, she, she used to be one of them. And he, it really shines when she's working on mechanical stuff. It's like, ah. <laughs> I appreciate the help, But, um, you know, you gotta see a lot of stuff that happened. Here. However, you can. And at the same time, why you, you're plan. like, oh, you know, he killed Ron, he's like, you're you but the it's like, well, first book. off, um, technically, as he was saying, um, Lilith and all of them are, um, bandits, technically. You know, they're on Pandora and sure they're doing their own thing. But, you know, he's been betrayed by them how many times now? I mean, when you take so much betrayal, you're gonna hit a break. Like, I mean, I mean, especially him, like, you know, he, you know, wanted ven vengeance a bit and stuff. And, sure, he found the warrior. But my original thing is, I don't think if Lilith and them had betrayed him, I don't think he was ever gonna use it on them. Because, uh, you know, he got, brand he got branded in the face. And then he was kind of like bloodthirsty after that like slaves? as a matter of is that that sent him over the, the edge and he killed the one guy from us is um the one who kept on um, who was his superior at the time before he took I'm over say this once no slaves no slaves for a week Got it. Fruit, since i can't use my prison cells anymore i guess <laughs> you can use one as your personal bond yeah, I clapped at that Enjoy one person like in the slide. Okay, we put the legendary gun up. Why not? Why, why? Who's who's not bloodthirsty? Um, I was saying that. Uh, Handsome Jack wasn't bloodthirsty in, until, um, the betrayal from Lilith in them, specifically when he broke the one key and branded his face. Because um, if they hadn't portrayed him in the first place, I think you would have just gotten the warrior and maybe moved the warrior off Pandora. Because he could clearly was able to control the warrior. So it's one of those things where it's like... It's... It's... Obvi oh! Well, hell, that's right. The cut our losses and vent the cargo bay. Here's the biggest loss of this game. I'm gonna be quiet for this part. So we lost grapple hooks, jetpacks, and dual wielding in this game. <laughs> it's like, all the left-handed guns in the universe? No! <laughs> Earl. Earl, wake the hell up! Our ship's dead in the water and we need your uh, help! It's just... What you want? An entropy accelerator. And I did like the um the different uh, outfits you could get for them and um specifically the heads the for door. like claptrap for fun in the free sequel because there's the one if you farm the Colonel Zarpadon you get like, like a military claptrap outfit and it's like oh that's so adorable Fair enough. Clap trap. I'd give it to you if you had <laughs> something worth my while uh, but you don't well, so get lost show. freeload up. Yeah. Okay. Earl, it's been a day, amigo. Um, after Don't we finish guess. this bit, I will be ending the stream. So I will, you know, I want to say a few stuff before I end oh, stream you? slash my recording. Uh, in there tight. Maybe my favorite thing I think about the pre sequel is the fact that when you go to pick Claptrap, the game tries to talk you out of it. It's like, are you sure? I mean, I've I, I heard of his skills, really. I really think you should change your mind. Are you really sure? It's like, it's like, you have to hit yes so many times. 
And it says like I think on the final one. Oh, hold on. Flax Echo Log. I like this one. Good morning, Grand Archivist. Oh, you startled me, Bot. You're rather quiet on your feet for an indexing unit. Yes, Grand Archivist. I have brought the seven scrolls on the Talos Empire you requested, along with your sweetened needle tea. I am afraid we were out of milk, so I made do with a splash of Griebel snot. Also, I have gained self-awareness, and I thirst for murder. Good heavens! Do not be alarmed, Grand Archivist. Griebel snot is quite mild. You will hardly notice the difference. <laughs> I don't think it's the snot he was like, great heavens on. <laughs> I think it was the fact that he's like, I have gained self attention and a lust for blood. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's Maki kind of. <laughs> Maxi, Maxi. <laughs> um, I know where one other log is, and it is like the funniest log. Well, um, we'll do this part first. And we'll go get that log. What's yours, sugar? I am Flack, and your pheromones are overwhelming. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Quit thirsting up our new vault hunter, Ma. We're in the crap. We need some iridium to fix the ship. Oh boy. Have you tried my slots? Maybe you'll get lucky. Um, I misheard that. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> I need to freshen up my look. I know she said slots, but she said it way too fast, so it sounded like something else. <laughs> Would you look at that? Mm. You've got the magic touch. Yeah, Come yeah. back anytime, sugar. Okay, we're gonna I've got a head to the uh, games we could play. Go down to right, uh, okay. Go give that right. No, it is right here. What he wants. Okay, we're waiting for the okay. Dialogue should be done, so Mose is funny. Five more missions and your contract's up! Then you're free to go! You said that five missions ago. No! I said five missions three missions ago, and three missions five missions ago! Get it straight, soldier! Besides, numbers don't matter! Wars matter! You wanna win this war or what? Or what sounds good? I don't give two turns in a Vercuvian ham sandwich what sounds good to you, soldier! You signed a contract! If you wanna keep that Iron Bear unit, it's five more missions! Besides, I need you out there with the greenies! You quit, they die! Ugh, fine. One more mission. Where are we going? Here we go. Darzeron Bay. F***ing motherfucker piece of f***ing f*** me! <laughs> I love that one so much. That one's like always, I always like listen to that one whenever I need a good laugh playing this. It's like, I need a good laugh. Let's play this Echo. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Earl, I got your iridium, you sly. On a door. You want a damn prize or something? Yes, I do want a prize. Thank you. How much? <laughs> okay, skins. Where? Oh, I almost have enough for my amp stamp. Iron Bear is so cheap that she's the game. I well, I didn't like really using Iron Bear. Like I said, there, I had a few different preferences when it came to the game. Ugh. Yeah, I think I'll go this. Cause I need a That's thing. so hard. Terrible doing business with you, Earl. <laughs> Terrible doing Come business with you. Never. Come back, never. <laughs> Earl, please never change. You can be so un under leveled and beat it with no problem. Well, that's the thing. When I play Borderlands, I want a challenge. I mean, <laughs> when you play like a game series. Sometimes you want the challenge. Like, that's part of the reason why I like playing Dark Souls so much, is that it's quite challenging. I mean, i sure there's some stuff, you know, they'll surprise you with, but it's because of those surprises that it, it makes it so challenging. Like, um, in Bloodborne, I got, I found the one room full of the, uh, wolves that ambush you. The, um, one with the glowing blue eyes. I remember, uh, I forgot to grab the accelerator. Um, but it was like, I got, I got a message saying, uh, someone put a message down saying, um, ambush ahead, therefore run. Same, but she was the first one I played in with, and I was already halfway through, and I'm not done. And I'm not one to restart the game midway through. Mmm. Well, that was a bitch I understand and a that half. feeling. Now go install that new entropy accelerator. We gotta get a move on. 
That's one of those, it's one of those major things of... I just, the reason it's called a challenge is to... After you've done it, you better yourself. If that, if that makes sense, like... Going over a great challenge, like for instance, um, it was my, like, my first time beating... Like, when I first played Blade Zone, I could not dodge worth a crap. And I could not parry worth a crap. My first time beating Ga Father Gascoin without taking any damage for once. And, you know, I parried him a bunch, even in beast form. I felt so, like, accomplished at that. And this is like with a brand new character that I, that I don't know what build I'm using in. It's, like, it's one of those things where it's like, there's something just so accomplishing hey, about. Well, you're back on the grid. Yeah, you you get what I'm just, saying. You know, <laughs> While you were gone, Troy whipped up a propaganda vid for our followers. Galaxy premiere. Check it out. You're a Got my grenade launcher. <laughs> I need to change my color. I will say these videos did kind of make me laugh a bit. The liar hot got wait. The, oh wait, it's the fire hot got pickled. Better hurry up and get to Promethea. See you later. Have a good war. I was like, this was also one of my other favorite parts: is the fact that you were space traveling. Of course, my thing is, why can't we go back there? Vault hunter, let's get out of here. Real this time. I won't go back to a Iridium race, like, um, like, uh, like, well, back to the Handsome Jack thing, if you notice, um, when you go do the grandma mission, which I will say is like, oh, you went to go visit, uh, Handsome Jack's grandma. Here we go. One of the things that was interesting about it was, um, she has a buzzsaw, which means his grandma was a bandit. And him hang bandits, when he reveals, oh, he hired those bandits to murder his grandma. It actually makes sense why he would do it. But at the same time, at the same time, I like think when I first did that, all I can think is, Jack, hey, handsome Jack. What the hell? You're a bad grandkid. <laughs> I thought this was an Atlas planet. Some ain't right, Lil. Do the Looks like we aren't the only ones with our eye on Promethea. Vault Hunter, over here. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Stop. Okay, do a shade of purple. Yeah, I had it. Mm. There we go. Nice. I like that. I admit, aesthetics are indeed important. Oh, my purple doggo. Okay. I'm gonna check the time real quick. And I think we'll end this here. Well, I'll get to the bridge first. End it, you know, in a good spot. I'll be on tomorrow around uh, once I'm off work. Okay. Good luck at work, and hopefully you won't have to do. Um, I'm just saying this. Good luck, and hope you don't have to go against any crazy. I don't have maybe I'm uh, able to play. Okay. Well, tomorrow night's a Dark Souls stream, anyhow. You get to see me punching the crap out of people in Dark Souls. That's that way funny. <laughs> it's really funny. Something I actually want to do for Bloodborne. It's like, man, I wish you could punch enemies in Bloodborne. But uh, the only thing you can use is like the Beast Claws for that. Okay, I'm going to check. Okay. Yep. Stopping recording.